listen, he is available for coaching. He has an incredible program called Empty Your Bucket, and he helps you with goals. Listen, there's times in your life you need a coach and you need accountability and you need someone that will hold you to the wire. And JT's an anointed man of God that does that. Well, welcome to the month of Av. And we are going to unpack the Hebrew calendar, his appointed times for this month, and what it means for you to give you guidelines on how to pray, to help you see Jesus from Genesis to Revelation, and then just tell you some of God's heart and prophetic meaning for this month. This is a month that is the Father month. Av um, means father. And so if some of you have father wounds, uh, I believe that you're going to get healed during this program today. God wants to heal those wounds and he wants to make all things new. So I don't have to do this alone. I have two co-pilots and we are gonna fly this off plane mm -hmm. together. And so it's always an honor, a privilege and a blessing to have Christine and Carlos Ballas in the studio. Yay! Yay! Yippee! 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 yippee. yippee. <laughs> Thank you for your service, sir. Yes, ma'am. We appreciate you and all that you have done for our country. Thank you. Amen. Okay, so Carlos, when once once me and Christine get our uh, our once we rev up and get our motor going, it's hard. So tell what does off mean to you? Because you guys have done a deep dive and a study on this as a couple before. Christine ever started publishing this stuff, you guys were, this was like your personal devotion. So hmm. what, what's a huge, as a man, as a soldier, as um, a teacher of the word, as a blogger, and all mm -hmm. the things that you are for the kingdom, what, what's, what stands out this month to you? Well, Av is a very interesting month because um, we see there's a lot of heartache through the history of Jewish, um, the Jewish history through Israel where the temple's burning down and the expulsion from England and Spain and mm -hmm. separate centuries. And uh, even 2005, when it was the ninth of Av, when they were expelled from Gaza. Mm. And yeah. so, you know, but Zechariah promises that it's going to be a month of rejoicing. And one of the things that Av brought to me was the fact that, look, this is a month of hearing, which you both will get deeply into. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's watering, getting watered by his word mm. continually. It's always pointing us back to that river whether this be the spies or whatever they have done through history, if you shima Israel, if you listen, yes. if you stand in my word, these things will happen because you have a choice. And it is, hearing is a choice. You can hear or choose not to hear. Mm -hmm. Hear the word of the Lord and wisdom and revelation will follow. That's good, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Boy, mm -hmm. last month we talked a lot about vision and seeing. Yes. And now we're going from these two things to these two yeah. things mm -hmm. and right. hearing. Because there's a big difference between listening mm -hmm. and hearing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, Amen. you know, there's times as parents yeah. we say, you know, Do you, are you hearing me? You know, right. are you hearing me? Not listening, you yeah. know. And repeat back to me what I just said, you <laughs> yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. And, my, <laughs> and my husband always says, God's given us two ears and one mouth for a reason, yep. that we should be listening twice as much as we're speaking. Yes, Amen. yeah. And you know that word Shema that yeah. Carlos yeah. mentioned means to hear, but it also means to hear and to act mm. on what you hear. Level up, right? You know, so it's not like you say, just listening, but actually listening and then doing something. Doing something yeah, about Yeah, acting it. on sure. what you've just heard. Right. Yeah. And that's what the month is all about because in biblical history, the month of Av, this is when the spies returned yeah. and they had a report to share, yeah. right? And we know the story. It's a great time to look back in the Bible at that point of history and, and just be reminded of what happened yeah. because, you know, the majority gave their, gave their uh, report, yeah. right? But we know Joshua and Caleb they saw with the eyes of their heart. Yes. So they spoke, but then how, how did the people reply, right? How, how did they react? And um, as we know, the story goes that they did not believe the good report, right? That's they right. had unbelief, right. so they settled in unbelief. Right. And, the, and the word says that. So when we're not hearing God and we don't trust him, um, we don't move forward, we're settling. Yes. We don't want to settle. No, for less right? than, yeah. less than. This is a month to advance. That's right. Yeah. And you know, the, the, the journey of the children, um, the, the Hebrew children, the, it could have been 
you know, a, a much shorter journey than it was. Yeah. They, you know, they say that there's only, it would really, it only <laughs> takes 11 days to walk, uh, 11 days journey yeah. uh, from Egypt to the promised land and yet 40 years. And in the book of Psalms, it says that they had this indictment against them. Mm. And indictment is a strong word, mm -hmm. that they limited the Holy One of Israel. Yes. And when we don't listen, hear, <clears throat> act, obey, mm -hmm. apply, we settle, mm -hmm. then we're limiting what God wants to do. Yeah. And so this is such a month. Uh, and and, <clears throat> and the, the Israel people that, you know, it's called the Straits, and I'll get you mm -hmm. to explain that. Mm -hmm. It's a low point in history, mm -hmm. but it's because they settled, because they limited. And I just hope that everyone listening, that you will really say, Holy Spirit, show me where am I limiting you? Yeah. Where have I settled into doubt and unbelief? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to be like the 10 spies. By the way, do you all know the name of the 10 spies <laughs> that spoke negatively? No. no, no one knows their name You're right. because they were yeah. negative. They had unbelief. But do we know the name of the two mm -hmm. that believe God? Amen. Yes. Yes, we do. yes, we do. And so how would your legacy go down? How will mm. your history go down as the two that believed or the 10 that didn't believe? Right. So true. Yeah. And um, I had a thought on this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they came out and... Uh, they, they believed, um, they, they didn't believe. Um, what was my point here? Oh, I know. Okay, yes. Here, here it is. Thank you, Lord so, Spirit. Yes, thank you, Lord. I'm hearing you. I am hearing you. Um, why don't we believe? Why are we hesitant to act on His Word? Why? It's because of fear, yes. right? And where does fear come from? We're not trust. I, I don't know if I can trust you, God, right. Right? right? And so we all have areas in our life that, easily we trust God in. Like right. maybe it's finances. I, I don't worry about it. I'll trust you. Yeah. But over here with my job or like I don't, children being saved, children or whatever, family, uh, that, you know, so, so it's a heart issue. That's and right. And when you're talking about the father and having wounds healed from our natural father, whatever, the Lord is highlighting himself in this month and saying, let me show you how much I love you. Yes. I am not like your earthly father. That's Even right. if you had the best one in the world, I'm still better than yes. that. And you can trust me. Ask me to show you how much I yes. love you. In fact, in this month, ninth of Av is this day where they didn't believe, right? right? And so it's a low point. But then on the 15th of the month is a, one of the highest points on God's calendar. And it's called the love of the father. Yes. The 15th of Av, it is the full moon it's like the fullness of God saying, I love you. It's it's kind of like a Valentine's Day yes. in Israel, yes. but it's not about um, the the Romantic origin is not love. romance. It's God loves us. He does. Yeah. So we need to have that fresh revelation because the more we know that God loves us, just like the more I know Carlos loves me, then if he asks me to do something, I'll be like, okay, I know you love me, so I'm, I trust you. Yes. So yeah, let's... I'm in with you. Yeah. And it's not the struggle. The more we know God loves us, the more we'll follow him, the more we'll say yes to him. Yes. And we don't have to um, conjure it up because right. it's out of a love relationship. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's natural. Yeah. It's yeah. Ju it just flows. Yeah. You don't have to pray for more faith. Right. You just have to ask God to show you how much he loves you because our faith works by love. Amen. It's right. Galatians it, 5, 6. Everything mm -hmm. boils down to love. Amen. And I, you know, I just pray this month that you get a fresh revelation of the love of God. Yeah. The agape love, the unconditional love mm -hmm. of the Father. Amen. And Father Abba loves you, and He wants to reveal that to you in every area of your life. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times, it's not God, it's never God lacking to show us. It's right. us failing to recognize and, you know, the Israelites in IR, he showed them who he was. I'm mm -hmm. Jehovah Jireh. I'm Jehovah Nisi. I'm, mm -hmm. Jer I'm your protector. I'll give you some water. I'll give you some manna. I'll give you some quail. I'll give you, yeah. I'll give you, and he, we, I'll heal you. I'll heal the waters. He did all these things. And then mm -hmm. they had this awesome move of God at, at Sinai. And then they went into evaluating mm -hmm. and the spies were sent out. And it should have been such a high point. Yeah. You know, and there are times when our faith gets shipwrecked. Mm -hmm. you know, where we, we take the wrong turn. But mm -hmm. I love the point you just brought up 
that even though the, the, the ninth of Av stands for destruction, it was a day created mm-hmm. for the goodness of God. Amen. They were supposed to come back and celebrate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but God in his love and mercy mm-hmm. gave them a do-over on the 15th and yeah. said, oh, oh, just like Jesus said, how much longer do I have to put up with them? Mm-hmm. He, it, he, he said, but I have mercy but I have Amen. grace and let me just pour out that yeah. love and favor upon my Amen. kids. And you know, I'm just thinking too that um, as believers, right? In 1 John, it says, as he is, so we are in this world. So when God looks at us, he is he frustrated with Jesus? No. No. So he's not frustrated with us, That's even right. if we're frustrated with us. That's right. So it's like, we have to remind ourselves who we are in him and as he is as jesus is so we are now so that means god looks at us just like he looks at jesus god god loves jesus god's love is he disappointed with him he's not disappointed with us so when you know somebody's eyes are on you and they see the best yes and they and they are encouraging you um your confidence starts to build yes and even as as our abba father right we're adopted, right? Yes. And the scripture says that we cry out with the spirit of adoption, Abba, Father. And I know, Jen, that you're adopted, yes. right? And so you were chosen by your adopted family. They chose you. Yeah. And it's the same thing. God chose us. Yes. You know, it's not like, oh, we just had these kids, you know, where yeah. did they come from? <laughs> he chose us, yes. you know? So when you're chosen, your confidence should be Lifted. Yes, you're not yeah. just another person. You know, uh, where did they come from? You know, right. So we're chosen. So we need our minds to be renewed by the love of the Father, yes. and and how how special we are in His eyes. That's awesome, yeah. Christine. You know, and one of the other prophetic meanings of this month is mm-hmm. metamorphosis. Mm. You know, which is is real, it, and that's what has to happen. Our minds have to be yeah. transformed. Um, which we get from the Word, which we Mm -hmm. get from teachings like this, which we get from local churches, which we get from small groups. We get through praying and our devotion to the Lord. And But we have to be transformed, which means that mindset that I'm not chosen, I'm not loved, He's Mm -hmm. not a good Father, those mindsets have to go in the name of Jesus because when we we nurture them, when we nurse and rehearse those, then we will have a negative report. Mm-hmm. We will be drowning in doubt and unbelief. Mm-hmm. And, and so there's responsibility on our part. You know, mm-hmm. we, we've got to stay in the cocoon. Yeah. We've got to be transformed. We have to work out our own salvation with Amen. fear and trembling. Amen. But we have this perfect loving Father that's not irritated or frustrated, like Amen. you said, Amen. that wants to join us and he'll do the work for us. But we have to surrender, yield, get out of the way and let him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just let, let me. Us, I know, <laughs> yeah. I know. He yeah. says, let me, let yes. me. So many so many times, do a, do a word study on let me. Amen. I mean, <laughs> he's trying so hard yeah. to show us how yeah. chosen and precious we are. Amen. And you know, it, it goes back of what we hear connecting to this mention. And I recall, Carlos, you saying a lot of times when someone has said something in the past that's in error, I remember a lot of times you saying, where did you hear that? Yeah. You know, what is the source? You want to add to that? Like, like you heard that from somewhere, but it wasn't the truth. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, so it's very important, you know, um, when we talk about Jen, you're speaking about a metamorphosis. Mm-hmm. You see the, I, I also believe Tet is the values, nine. Yes, the people yeah, nine. Yeah. And, you know, Tet appears first where when God said, and light, and it was good. Yes. Right. Good. So when you look at that, choice is good. Yes. If we weren't given a choice, how can we love? Amen. That's right. Amen. Right? So we're either robots, we're either plants, <laughs> or we love and we have a choice. Mm-hmm. So when we listen to the Word of God, think about the number nine, nine months in pregnancy mm-hmm. from the beginning to its fulfillment. If you think about on the ninth hour, that's when Jesus said it is finished. Amen. Beginning to fulfillment. Mm-hmm. You also see that nine times between the resurrection and the ascension, ascension to heaven, Jesus appears to his disciples. Mm-hmm. Beginning to the fulfillment. You see from um, Jesus to Noah, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, no, uh, Adam to Noah, nine generations. Noah to Abraham, nine generations. These are all parts of fulfillments. So when you start reading the word, and it's very important what you said before too, look at Jesus, keep your eyes on Jesus. Mm-hmm. Don't look at faith. Now, before it sounds wrong, mm-hmm. understand something. Faith comes when you look at Jesus. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's when it comes. 
it's easy to rebel against two stones, <laughs> but it's very hard to rebel against grace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when we keep our eyes on Jesus, yeah. and when we know that, that's how I would say, okay, who told you that? Right. Yes, Where did you right. get that from? Because I don't see that yes. here. That's yeah. good. And it's very important to know the hearing. And I, there's a deeper spiritual principle there, and I will say this, that adoption is actually much higher than actual natural birth. And that's what yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. yes, we'll have to unpack that. Yeah. Yes. And mm-hmm. you know what else is great about the num- mm-hmm. number nine? Mm-hmm. My birthday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. That's December really 9th. Yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. Here I'm like, mind. ooh, yeah. that's more revelation. Amen. I love yeah. that. Yeah. that yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. But it's true. Who told that to you? Mm-hmm. Who told mm-hmm. you? Who told you to think? small. Who told you that God couldn't do it? Who told you you were grasshoppers in your own eyes? I didn't say that, says God. And he he does want us to choose right. Mm -hmm. You know, choose this day whom you will serve. You know, choose life or death. Uh We get this beautiful uh, thing that we get to do is choose. We don't just choose salvation. We have to choose to take up our cross and follow him daily. Mm -hmm. We have to choose to forgive 70 times seven. We have to choose to live at peace with all men. We have to choose to do good to all men when it's in our power to do so. There's Mm -hmm. so many choices that we get to make where we have to align with his word. Jesus, what would you, no, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. My husband always says, the, the thing should be not, what would he do? What did he do? Amen. Because he's our example. What did Jesus do? And it's already done. It's yeah. already, yes. And so, but mm-hmm. he chose the highest and best path. He mm-hmm. chose to do what Father wanted. I say Amen. nothing. I do nothing right. unless my Father in heaven has said it. If you've seen me, yeah. you've seen the Father. And then he said, I want you the, I want you all to be one with him the way he and there I you know. are one. Mm-hmm. But Absolutely. we have to choose. He never rejects us. Amen. He never right. kicks us out of the huddle. Mm-hmm. We choose to walk away. Yeah. He yeah. chooses to stretch his hands out. Mm-hmm. He chooses to leave the 99 and go after us. He chooses yes. to yeah. embrace the prodigal and put a ring on their finger and a Amen. robe on their back. He chooses us Amen. every single time. Yeah. Yeah. But do we choose him back? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And so in this month, it's a month of a lot of choices. Yeah. And that's something that the Lord was highlighting to me that he's chosen us. Yes. You know, so when he's directing our decisions, it's it's such so comforting to know that he has chosen me. Yes. So he's going to lead me in good choices yes. because yes. he's chosen me and he's yes. with me. He's never going to lead me or yes. forsake me. So it's just an awesome month to get a revelation of God's love. And it seems so um, basic, like, oh, I'm a Christian for so many years. I know God loves me. I mean, I thought that way. Yeah. But then I realized how key love is. Like, it is the fuel of my relationship with God. I need to have that tank filled. That's right. Every day. It's like in a marriage, If you only heard your husband say, I love you, the day you got married and you're married for 20 years and he never said it again or he never expressed it to you. Yeah, that's not enough. You'd be like, huh, you know. I know. Only once, that was it. It's not enough, right? Yeah, and he's a lavish God. He wants to lavishly love us. He does. Yeah, he does. We just receive it. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about some other things because okay. we are on a we are on a happy happy place. Okay, but let's talk about the lion. I knew you were going to bring lion. up the lion. Yes, you yes. did. Yes, I love lions. Yeah. Lions, I just love them. I know. Well, this I had fun drawing that. I will say, um, the Lion of Judah. So this is tied in with the constellation, yeah. and all the stars point to Jesus. Yes, we don't have to just you know, not look at the heavens. You right. Know, the, the enemy is going to distort them and, and make it make it its own thing. But God's saying, no, these heavens are my stars That's and they right. all point to Jesus. Yes. So the lion of, of, of uh, Leo is the lion of Judah. That's it's right. It's Jesus. So uh, here on the chalkboard, I have him like roaring over um, over us, his cubs, like a father, yes. you know? And so you can look at that lion and be like, wow, like lions are so scary, but they're protecting. Yes. And that's what I love about the Lord. Like he protects us. Yes. Even when we are, you know, at a crossroad or making a decision. And even sometimes when we choose wrong, he's still going to protect us in that decision and make it turn out for our good. Yes. You know? Amen. So um, I just love resting in that. What are yes. your thoughts, Jen, on the lion? Well, I 
I love the lion. He's the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. In my sorority, our mascot was a lion. And I love that Judah goes first. And yes. I love this month where I think there's a sound that's mm -hmm. to be released. And that's the sound of faith. Mm -hmm. It's the sound that combats doubt and unbelief. It's Amen. the sound. And God is releasing the sound of heaven over us. They say that when a lion roars in the jungle, that it is heard from five to 10 miles mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. And that wow. all every single creature is paralyzed when the lion roars. They stand, they, they actually stop and stand at attention. Wow. And that is that protective father mm -hmm. that when he roars over us, um, it, it puts demons to flight. Amen. It puts Amen. principalities to flight. He's an amazing God. Amen. He Amen. is. Amen. I love that picture. Okay, yeah. so we only have a couple minutes left. So how, what are some other cool things about this month that we need to highlight? Mm. We're celebrating His goodness. Yes. We're walking in His grace. Um, we're asking for more discernment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. And um, we're believing for a good report. We're, we're walking in the good report. What about this month, mm -hmm. and you unpack this, I'm gonna have one of you pray, or both of you, okay. is this is a month it says that we are to be careful about partnerships and alignments, who we align ourselves with mm -hmm. and, and who, we're, who our covenant partnerships are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, I think again, it's, it's choosing, yeah. right? These are choices who we choose to align with and um, it goes back to hearing. Yes, you're right. right? Hearing so, the voice of God. Yeah, hearing the voice of God. And you know, that scripture, it says, faith comes by hearing. So that means believing comes by hearing, yeah. hearing by the word of God, yeah. right? And how does unbelief come? By the hearing. Same, the same way, <laughs> you know, hearing. unbelief or untrust comes by hearing anything but the word of God, you right. know? So when we're looking to partnerships or choices, decisions who we're gonna uh, be in covenant with or whatever, you know, God has made it really easy for us, if you think about it, just like, again, He calls us His sheep. We know His voice. Yes. And the more we hang out with Him, the more we'll recognize yes. it. When Carlos calls me, even though, of course, it says on the phone who yes. it is, but even if it didn't, I know His voice. Right. He doesn't have to say, it's me, your husband. Right. I know <laughs> who you are, you know? <laughs> yes. And so I know His voice. And because I trust Him, Yes. and we talk, you know, we're going to move forward That's in... Right. in, in um, in righteousness, and and going back to our identity, God says that He has a, a hope and a future yes. for us, and He's going to lead us into these yes, things. He is. So we just he go is. back into the relationship, and I think a lot of it is really resting yes. in that. Yeah. The enemy wants to say, "What are you going to do? Right. What are you going to do? Right. What are you going to do?" And meanwhile, God says, just rest yes. Amen. and yeah. let me move through you Amen. and rest. Amen. Yeah. We got thirty seconds left. Who's going to pray seconds. us out? Go for it. I'll pray that. Okay, sure. thank you, thank you. So, uh, Lord, uh, just uh, I ask uh, that you just, we just meditate upon yes. your great love for us, Lord, that yeah. we get washed in the Word, Lord, that we spend time not just uh, reading it, but also hearing it, Lord. Yes. And I ask right now, Lord, that you prove yourself to all those who are still on the fence that you are Abba. Mm. And yes, you may have a choice because you're a good, good Father. Have them spend time, Lord. Have us spend time with you. Have us spend time that we may have the rest and the peace that only you can give us, Lord, in these times. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Go to christinepalace.com. Get these resources. Thank you for watching. Come home. Happy Av. We'll see you next time.